Hi, my name is Ron Wilstein, and I'm a broker with Keller Williams Luxury Properties in Park City, Utah. Welcome to our special tax appeal webinar. If you're watching this webinar, it means you probably received your tax notice either from Summit County or Wasatch County, saw how high it went because property values have gone up, and you're concerned about it. Nobody likes to see a tax increase, and it's probably reflected on your current tax notice. So it's time for us to take a look at it, see if you can cut your taxes, find out if you're entitled to a reduction. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to grab your tax notice. What I have before me here is a notice from Summit County on your tax valuation. Please grab yours now. If you don't have it, pause this video and go get it and then resume it once you have it. Let me begin by saying that we have been seeing this year anything from property value staying the same to them increasing more than double last year's valuation. It's all over the place. And it doesn't mean that they're automatically wrong, even if they've had a significant increase, because often the county's value lags behind what the true value is for your property. But you've got to take a close look at your tax notice because you're entitled to appeal it if it's too high. I want to direct you to my website, viewparkcityrealestate.com forward slash appeal my taxes. Got lots of valuable information on this subject there. Or you can go to parkcitytaxappeal.com, which is a website specifically designated for tax appeals. I've been helping property owners appeal their taxes for over 25 years in Park City and Deer Valley, and I've got all that information there. So you can go there, you can watch a webinar, you can see the forms you need, uh, you can have an offer on a, prop, on a program that we offer to the public if they want. So it's a good site to go to. With that in mind, let's turn and take a look at your tax notice. Here it is, and we want to start by looking at property type. On your notice, you'll either see it say primary improved property, non-primary improved property, or non-primary land. Now, non-primary land means it's vacant land. It hasn't been developed. It's neither a primary residence nor a rental property nor a second home. However, we're looking at notices that say primary improved property. Now, in order for a property to be classified as primary improved property, which is preferred because if you have that classification, you're automatically getting a 45% reduction in your taxes. So you want that to be your situation. Primary improved property applies to two sorts of owners. One, either an owner whose property is their indeed primary residence, it's their full-time residence, then they're entitled to that savings, or it's someone else's primary residence, meaning the home could be a rental home, but it's been rented to someone who lives there full time. Your ideal scenario, so you can take advantage of this uh, reduction, is that they will have been in your property for either over a year or starting at January 1st of this year, 2017. Hopefully it continues all the way through to the end of the year so you can get the maximum benefit. If that's the situation, you would need to have a lease to support that, but that keeps your property in that primary improved property category. The non-primary improved property category refers to either second homes or properties that are maybe in a rental program, a nightly rental program. They don't, they're not, they don't represent someone's long-term residence. Those are the two classifications. You want to make sure that your property is correctly classified. If your notice says non-primary improved property, but it should be primary improved property, then you want to address that and appeal that right away. This is the form that Summit County uses so that you can, uh, it's kind of an affidavit, so that you can show that this is your primary residence. And if it's a rental property, but someone else's primary residence, you would send this in and it would and accompany a lease with it to uh, verify that. And then they would change the status of your category. These forms are available at parkcitytaxappeal.com if you want them. You can also go to Summit County online directly and actually make the uh, fill out the form online. It looks like this. And this is the address. I apologize for it being so long, but if I just gave you the short version, then I, you'd have to click through five or six steps. And so if you put that address into your browser, you'll go directly to that form. Those are the ways that you get your classification adjusted and corrected. Again, the forms are available at parkcitytaxappeal.com. Now let's take a look at the form. Moving from property type, let's move to the right and look at last year's market value. This is the value that they assessed you on 
last year for your property. If this is a new property that you purchase, this is what the previous owner was assessed. Then to the right of that is this year's market value. It's whatever they've assigned to it. Now, if it's gone up a lot, that's probably why you're watching this webinar because you think it may be too high and you want to appeal your taxes. Take a close look at that valuation. Do keep in mind from a tax point of view, the county is interested in the value as of January 1st, 2017. So it isn't what the value is today that's going into this field, but what it was at the beginning of the year. Lower down on the form, you'll see taxes last year, how much were billed and paid. Then you'll see to the right of taxes, if there's no change in the budget, what they'll be this year. And then if the budget is voted on and approved to the right of that is what it would be. This will give you an approximate idea of what your taxes will be uh, when they are due in November, by November 30th. The important thing is that you take a look at this number, this year's market value. Does it seem right? If it doesn't seem right, then you want to reach out to me um, and ask me and send me the information. I'll just tell you whether it's in the ballpark or not and whether it's worth doing an appeal or not. It's just that simple. If it requires an appeal, then you definitely want to do it because you can save a lot of money on an appeal. Now, the good news, bad news is property values have gone up. We love that, but we don't like it when our taxes increase when the property values go up, but they do go together. And so with the values going up, people are quite surprised at the valuation assigned on their tax notice. The important thing is that you want to plan here. If you think that you're being assessed too high of a value, this is the time to change it. The reason why this time is important is the deadline to change your valuation to make an appeal is September 15th. If you wait beyond that, you're going to have to wait an entire another year. So whatever you do, you must do by that deadline. There is a form. This is the form used by Summit County. Now it's, you're just seeing the top portion of it here. But you fill this out and then you make the case for why your property should be lower than what they've assigned to it. That's often done by comparable sales, sometimes done by hiring an appraiser to do it. But again, remember, it's the properties that sold basically in 2016, preferably toward the end of 2016, because the county is interested in not today's value, but the value as of January 1st, 2017. There's also an online form with Summit County that you can fill this out as well. And here's the address for it. Take you right to that form. Of course, you can go to parkcitytaxappeal.com and get more information on the subject. The website looks like this, and you'll see on this left sidebar in green, uh, there's information on frequently asked questions. There's the webinar, which in effect you're watching. Uh, and then we do offer service to appeal the tax on your behalf. It has a 100% free fee rebate to you if we don't save you money, so it's got a great guarantee. It's kind of everything to gain, nothing to lose. Uh, so there's good information there. Uh, at parkcitytaxappeal.com. Let me share with you about our 100% risk-free tax appeal service. When you appeal your taxes, you have to show the county assessor that your property is worth, le worth less than the value that they've assigned to it. Again, it needs to be the value as of January 1st, 2017, so it requires going back and looking at sales that occurred prior to that, making adjustments for how your property is better or worse, more desirable, less desirable, make those adjustments and then making that case to uh, the county assessor. What we do is we put together a case for you and we present that to the county assessor. So we do all the work for you. We do charge a fee for this. It's $189. It's called an application fee. And if we do not save you any tax dollars, you get that refunded 100%. So this is where it's 100% risk free. If, however, we're successful at saving you money, that money needs to be greater than the $189. But if it is, then we get a success fee equal to one-third of how much you saved. So if you save a lot of money, then we share a third of it one time only. If that savings is good for several years because the county assessor doesn't reassess your property for several years, you don't keep paying. You pay only once, and that's how the program works. So. Either you can do it or you can turn it over to us. It's totally up to you. We're here to help you. We're here to help you save money. You can give me a call at my toll-free number, 800-535-0151, or 
or email me at ron at thewellsteamteam.com. And now that we've covered all the details on how you can appeal your property taxes, I wanted to just wrap up by giving you an update on the Park City real estate market. Over the past 12 months, there's been 1,377 sales in Park City. This consists of homes, condominiums, and vacant land. This is all real estate brokerages combined, and that is up 59 sales or 4%. This is the time period of August 2016 through July 2017, which is depicted here in the graph with the red bars. The 12 month period the year before is depicted by the silver bars, and I've broken this into categories of homes, condos, and lots. You can see that the number of sales has increased for homes by 13%, climbing from 491 sales all the way up to 555. Uh, condos are slightly down 1%, dropping nine sales from 652 to 643. But keep in mind, this is a 12-month period, August 2016 through July 2017. Previous month, it represented uh, sales being up a little bit. So being down is actually a little bit unusual, but it's accurate for that time period. Lots are up 2%, climbing from 175 lots to 179 for the year. We don't sell a lot of lots, but there's four more this past year than the year before. This graph here looks at homes and it's broken down into the Park City city limits and the Snyderville Basin. In the city limits, the number of sales is up 10% from 149 sales to now 164 and a 14% increase in the Snyderville Basin, climbing to 391 sales from 342. Condos we see in the city limits up 16% from 285 sales up to 332. But we actually see a 15% decline uh, for the condos in the Snyderville Basin, dropping from 367 down to 311. Now, if you've been following our webinars on a monthly basis, you'll know that we had been reporting last year that we were seeing record-breaking number of sales, particularly condos, particularly in the Snyderville Basin. And so having this adjust downward is really kind of bringing it back to the norm or the mean. So I'm not that concerned. It doesn't mean that people have lost interest in condos in uh, Snyderville Basin, but rather previous year there were just so many uh, that it's reasonable for it to adjust back down. Lot sales in the city limits dropped technically uh, 28%, but from 25 sales to 18, Again, very limited set lots in the city limits to purchase. Snyderville Basin rose by 7%, up to 161 sales. The previous year was 150. Uh, but let's look at prices because everybody wants to know what's happening with prices, and they are climbing, climbing really in every category. Here we're looking at home medium sold prices, same time period. But take a look at this. In the city limits, the value year over year is up 31%. It climbed from a medium sold price of $1,532,500 all the way to $2 million as the new medium sold price in one year. That's huge. Uh, Snyderville Basin, just slightly down year over year comparison. Medium price was $958,000. It's down $951,950. So just a little over a $6,000 drop. That's in that price range nothing. It's basically level. In condominiums in the city limits, an 11% increase with the new medium sold price being 705,000, climbing all the way from the old 632,750. And a nice healthy 15% increase, Snyderville Basin climbing from 425,000 all the way to 490. So price is going up. Again, like to see it when you own a property, don't like it to see it when you get your tax notice. And here we're looking at vacant land, 10% increase. Again, not a lot of sales. There were 18 this last year, but still saw an increase from 667,000, the previous medium sold price, to now 737,000. And 5% increase in the Snyderville Basin, up to 437,500 from the previous 414,750. So you can see those prices are just solid. They're going up. And we like that. If you're an investor in real estate, you like to see those values going up. 
Anyway, if you're curious about the value, current value of your property, uh, give me a call. My toll-free number is 800-535-0151 or send me an email, ron at thewillsteinteam.com and I'm happy to provide that information for you. Uh, you can also go to the website, viewparkcityrealestate.com and on that landing page, you scroll down to the learn what your property is worth. In fact, let me just pop this up for you so you can see it. Uh, here we are, we've got the website, viewparkcityrealestate.com. You just scroll down a little bit past the searching, past some of the webinars and the properties we have listed to the learn what your property is worth in today's market. You fill in the blanks, put in your address or it's a condominium, the name of the condominium, the unit number. Describe it a little bit with these pull down messages. Put in your contact information. And then when you get to this portion here, choose this first one. Contact me for a free property value assessment. Uh, we'll contact you, make an arrangement, and uh, see your property and get you the information on the current market value. So all you do is click that, click the green button, that will send a notice to me and I'll contact you. It's really just that simple. So with that in mind, if you ever have any questions about the Park City real estate market, email your questions to me, I'll promptly answer them by email or if you prefer a phone call, include your phone number and I'll give you a ring. With that in mind, thank you for watching our webinar. I uh, hope you do qualify for a tax appeal and that you can lower them this year. Bye-bye.